<clears throat> All right, good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here today. I'm representing <laughs> Dutch Oven Bread Company this morning. Um, and I might have to get up a few times if we have more people enter class, I'll have to admit them, but uh, uh, just, you know, ignore that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. Um, come seated in your chair and just align your body so that your knees are stacked over your, your ankles, your feet are about hip width distance apart. Take your back away from the back of the chair We've got someone else here. <clears throat> and tuck your chin. And bring your palms to your lap to face up. And then from here, just take a few long, deep breaths. Inhaling fully to the top of the lungs. And then exhaling completely. And if they're not already, close your eyes gently. And settle in. Do a quick body scan from the top of your head down to your toes. Breathing a little more deeply into any places that feel tight or sore, or that they need a little extra attention today. Keep breathing. And as you breathe, also take a moment to observe the state of your mind today. Not judging anything that you might find there, but just observing, tuning in becoming aware. And if you happen to be feeling a little low or depleted today, or maybe unfocused, just take a moment to invite in a new energy. Feeling grounded in the present moment. And knowing that for the next hour or so, this is the only place that you need to be. You're doing something good for your body and mind. And bring your hands to heart center now and rub the palms together vigorously. <clears throat> Good. 
Good, and then bring the hands to stillness, pushing the thumb right in at the breastbone and bow your head towards your heart. Take a few more breaths here. And if you'd like to set an intention for class today or for the rest of your day or week, take a moment to do that now. And something else I always like to do is dedicate this practice to someone else in your life. Someone you know that might be struggling. Someone who might not be in the best of health. And so we offer the fruits of this practice to that person. Good. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Bring your hands back down to your lap. Open your eyes gently. Take a moment to kind of re-engage with your surroundings. And just a reminder, uh, as always, to uh, respect your body in this practice. Um, don't do anything that hurts or that's uncomfortable. Modify as you need to, and I will give you um, modifications for some of the um, postures and exercises as well. So just do um, what's best for for your body today. And that might be different than what it looked like last week or what it's going to be tomorrow. So just, um, yeah, meet yourself where you are today. All right, so we'll begin um, by just warming up with some sun salutations. So you can certainly um, remain seated if that's where you're comfortable or if you would like to stand right in front of the chair, you can do that as well. And we begin with our feet about hip width distance apart. Engaging the core and tucking the tailbone. Bring your hands down to your side, palms facing forward. Your chin, again, is tucked. And inhale as you reach the arms up overhead. Stretching up. And then exhale, come folding forward. Keep a little bend in your knees. Inhale, bring your hands to your shins and come halfway up with a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. And then inhale, stretch the arms up once again. Going a little slower for these first couple. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Good, let's do one more like that. Inhaling, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Good. Again, moving a little bit faster now. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, folding. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, release. Inhale to stretch up. Exhale, hands come to heart center, opening up the body. Again, inhale, stretching up. Exhale, folding. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale to stretch up. And exhale, hands come to heart center. Good, last time with the sun salutations. Inhale, stretching up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. 
exhale, release. Inhale, stretching up. And exhale, hands come to heart center. Good. And now with your hands right here at your heart center, we're going to do breath of fire just for one minute to kind of um, <clears throat> get the oxygen moving, get our heads nice and clear. So the way that looks is you're doing a rapid inhale and exhale through the nose while gently pumping the belly. So again, just make sure that your core is engaged, a little bend in your knees, keep your hands right in prayer position at the center of your chest, and we'll begin breath of fire. Go at a pace that feels good to you. If it's faster or slower than my breath, that's perfectly fine. Inhale deeply, suspend the breath. And then exhale, release that breath. Inhale one more time through the nose. Exhale through your mouth. Another breath like that, inhaling through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Good. Open your eyes and take your feet a little bit wider than the width of your chair. And then take your arms down to your side and just begin to move from side to side in a gentle spinal twist. Starting off really slowly here. Just kind of creating some movement in the center of the body. Again, keeping your belly nice and engaged. You might hear some gurgling going on. And then as your spine begins to loosen up, swing your arms a little bit more. Just allow the weight of your arms to sort of carry you in this swinging motion. And keep breathing deeply. Massaging your internal organs. Again, just sort of heating up the core of the body to begin class. One more swing to each side and then come to center, inhale, reach the arms up overhead, stretching up. Exhale, release the arms down and then come back to, to sitting in your chair. <clears throat> Good. So those kinds of movements are always kind of nice to do at the beginning of class, just to begin to sort of energize and get the blood flowing a little bit. All right, so from here, inhale deeply. Exhale as you lower the left ear down towards the left shoulder. Don't scrunch the shoulder up, allow the shoulders to be relaxed. Take a few deep breaths into the right side of your neck. On the next inhale, bring your head back up to center. Exhale. Inhale. 
And on the next exhale, lower your right ear down towards the right shoulder. Breathe deeply into the left side of your neck. Inhale, bring the head back up to center, to neutral. Again, be aware of your shoulders. Inhale deeply. Exhale, lower your chin down towards the chest. And then from here, move your head gently from side to side. Stretching out and releasing the back of the neck. Bring your chin back to the center of your chest and then inhale, gently lift the head back up to a neutral position. Take both hands to the back of your neck and give it a gentle massage. Just working in with your fingertips to any tight places you feel back there. <clears throat> Good, and now bring your hands up and give your earlobes a tug. And gently pinch along both ears. Bring your fingertips to your jaw, gently massage your jaw in little circles. Squeeze your chin. Give your cheeks a squeeze. Waking up the face. Massage your temples in little circles. And then massage or tap your scalp from the very crown of your head all the way down to the sides, the back behind. Good. And then bring your hands back down to your lap. All right, so we're gonna do a, a little movement to kind of loosen up our shoulders. So um, I want you to bring your hands into fists with your thumbs tucked in. And we're going to move with the breath here. The way that this looks is that we're going to inhale as we take our elbows back, kind of like we're skiing. Exhale, we'll cross one arm in front of the other, in front of the body. Inhale as we take the elbows back again. And then exhale, take the fists back behind us. Okay, so we'll kind of go slowly at first and then we'll build up as we become comfortable. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, back, exhale, cross, inhale, back, exhale, fists back, inhale, And when you cross the arms in front, alternate arms. So first the right arm will cross over the left and then the next time the left crosses over the right. Couple more times. Good. 
And now inhale, take the elbows back. Suspend the breath. And exhale, release everything down, shake out the arms a little bit and roll the shoulders back. Good. That one is a bit of a brain exercise too because you kind of have to <clears throat> focus on what comes next. Good, inhale both arms out to the side now. And exhale, cross the right elbow over the left in front of you and bring your fingertips to point up. The hands can be back to back or turned to, for, for the palms to face one another. Elbows up high in front of the heart and eagle arms. And breathe deeply into your shoulders and upper back here. Inhale, exhale, lower the hands now, but keep the elbows crossed and give yourself a big hug. Good. And then from here, gently tilt from side to side. Beginning to open in the spine, as well as the shoulders. Inhale, take both arms out to the side once again. Exhale, cross the left elbow over the right this time. Bring the fingertips to point up in a sustainable position. And breathe into your shoulders. Inhale, and then exhale, um, bring the forearms right in front of the navel, holding on to opposite elbows. And then once again from here, tilt from side to side. Inhale, come on up to center. And exhale, release your arms, shake them out. Good. Roll the wrists in circles now in one direction. And now the opposite direction. Open up both hands nice and wide, stretching the fingers. And then exhale, squeeze the hands into tight fists. Open, close, open and close. Do that a few more times. Great. And then stretch the fingers of your left hand out with your right. And then give your left hand a little massage with the right, going all the way down to the fingertips. I think stretching out the fingers and hands might be my favorite part of class, because we don't realize how much tension we're holding on to in our hands. And now stretch the fingers of your right hand out with your left. And give your right hand a little massage as well. Good. 
Bring your hands together, interlace the fingers, and then pushing the palms up towards the ceiling. Stretch the arms up overhead, bringing the shoulders in towards the ears. And just breathe there. A few deep breaths, stretching tall. Feeling the spaciousness in your torso, in your lungs. Inhale, stretch up. And then exhale, release the intertwine of the fingers and bring your arms down to the side. Good. Pull the shoulders back. <clears throat> Great. Okay, and now let's work our spine a little bit. So much of our health depends on the flexibility and the strength of our spine. Um, of course, it's, it's good to have strong limbs, arms, legs, but really, um, our overall health depends so much on the flexibility and strength of our spine. So the more that we're able to kind of keep that strong, um, the more balanced we will be. So again, with your feet about hip width distance apart, bring your hands to your kneecaps and we'll just move in cat cow here at first, inhaling as you arch the back and then exhaling as you round the spine, straightening the arms and bringing your chin to your chest. Inhale and exhale. And we'll move this way for about a minute. So start off slow and breathe deeply, just enjoying that sensation of the spine beginning to open and release. Good. And then on the next inhale, come up to a centered neutral spine. Take a breath. Good. And now taking the feet a little bit wider, a little bit wider than the chair. And we're going to do a similar movement, but this time, um, the movement will come mostly from our, our upper back. So again, our hands are on our kneecaps and we inhale as we sort of um, arch in the upper back and then exhale as we round in the upper back. So inhale, exhale. We won't be here for quite as long. Good, and inhale, come up to center. And exhale, release that, good. And now with our um, feet still out wide, we'll move in our, in our Sufi grinds. So kind of turning the body in one direction and then the other, and make sure that your chin remains parallel to the floor. And um, you can also kind of move your arms with this exercise as well. So inhale as you turn to the right, and then exhale as you go left. And we'll go about 30 seconds in each direction.
imagining that you are massaging your internal organs. And now take it around the other direction, inhaling as you go left and exhaling as you come right. Inhale, come on up to center. Take a breath. Good. And again, keeping the feet out wide like this, we'll get a nice side stretch in here. So bring your left forearm to the top of your left leg, aligning your shoulder with your elbow, and the palm is flat facing upwards. And now opening up the front of the body, inhale your right arm up and the gaze can be up towards the hand or down towards the floor or just in the center somewhere. So make sure that your neck is in a comfortable position. Inhale here. And then if it feels good, exhale as you lean to the left. And breathe deeply making space between the ribs on the right side. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, float up to center. Pull the shoulders back. And let's do the opposite side. Bring your right forearm to the right upper leg, aligning your arm, opening up the front of the body, and then inhale, reach the left arm up overhead. And if it feels good to stretch to the right, stretch to the right, breathing into your left side body. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, float on up to center. Good, roll the shoulders back once again and tiptoe the feet in. <clears throat> and now sit sideways in your chair. Sitting up nice and tall, tucking your chin, inhale deeply. And then exhale, take both hands to the back of your chair, but keep the elbows close towards the body and use the chair as leverage to turn for a twist. Inhale. Exhale, release the twist and come to face the opposite direction. Again, sitting up nice and tall, tucking your chin, inhale. And exhale, turn for a twist, keeping the elbows close towards the body. Inhale, and exhale. Come to face the front once again. Good. <clears throat> Come towards the edge of your seat. Bring your feet about hip width distance apart. And from here, inhale, reach the arms up overhead, stretching up. And exhale, bring the belly to the tops of the thighs. Come down into a forward fold. Inhale, stretch up. 
using the strength of your lower back and belly. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stretching up. Exhale, folding. Last time, inhale to stretch up, reaching up. Last time, exhale, folding. And then inhale, slowly rolling up as slow as you can go, stacking the vertebra one on top of the other, allowing your head to come up last. Roll those shoulders back. <clears throat> Good. And just take a moment here. Take a breath. Take a moment once again to feel your body. Feel your energy. Good. And then from here, we're going to stand up. So um, beginning our standing postures will just be right in front of the chair for this first one. And I want your feet once again to be about hip width distance apart. The toes are pointed in slightly towards one another, keeping a bend in your knee, core is engaged. And then as if you're going to sit down in your chair, bring a nice deep bend into your knees, but don't allow your knees to go past the tips of your toes. And then inhale, reach the arms up overhead, squeezing the shoulders in towards the ears. And take a few deep breaths here in chair pose. Using those leg muscles, your belly muscles, the glutes. Inhale, straighten the legs to stand. Exhale, come down again to chair pose. We're gonna do this a few times. Inhale to stand. Exhale, come down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more times, inhale to stand. Exhale, chair pose. Last time, inhale. Exhale, chair pose. And then inhale to stand, stretching up. And exhale, release the arms down. Take your hands behind you, clasping them right at your tailbone, straightening the arms. And then if you're able to take your hands slightly away from the body to get a nice deep stretch in your chest and the fronts of your shoulders, do that. Otherwise, just keep them where they're clasped behind you. Take a few breaths here. Inhale, exhale, release that stretch, good. Roll the shoulders back. And then now come behind your chair. <clears throat> so as, as usual, with the standing postures, choose your own adventure in terms of balance if you want to Hold on with both hands for all of them, do that. You might try with one hand or just a couple of fingers, or you might try your hands on your hips. Um, so whatever balance uh, works for you, you might just play with it a little bit and see where you're at today. But for this first one, uh, all you're going to do is inhale up onto your tiptoes and then exhale lower down onto your heels while lifting the toes. So inhale, 
tiptoes, exhale, heels. Inhale, exhale. Let's do five more of these. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Step that out. And now take the feet a little bit wider than your chair. Shift your hips a little from side to side. And then we're gonna do some squats here. So um, if you're comfortable taking your hands off of the chair for squats, you might take them up like two goal posts. Otherwise, this is our inhale standing position and your feet are pointed out at a slight angle. And then exhale, bend deeply in the knees and come down into a squat. Inhale to stand, exhale squat. And keep going at your own pace, moving with intention and awareness. Getting the heart pumping a little bit. And even if you are only going down an inch or so, that's enough. No need to go all the way down. Let's do five more. One, two, three, four, and last one, five. Inhale to come up. Good, and tiptoe your feet back to about hip width distance. Shift a little from side to side, releasing that. Take a moment, bring your hands to your heart, take a breath or so. Feeling your heart pumping there. All right, and now come so that your chair is on your left side. We're gonna try a little balancing posture here. So plant the left foot firmly in the ground, keeping a bend in that knee. And then if you're able to take the right foot up and back behind you and grab the foot or the ankle, do that. Otherwise, just take it up off the ground. And keep your left hand on the chair to begin. And then depending on how stable you're feeling today, you might take your hand just away from the chair. Or if you're feeling really stable, you might try lifting your left hand up in front of you. And take a couple of breaths right here. It helps to find a gazing point in front of you on the floor or the wall. Focusing your attention on one point will help you to balance. Inhale deeply. Exhale, release the left hand first, release the leg. Good, and then step that out. Okay, and then again, planting that left foot keeping a bend in the knee, take the right foot and flex it and bring the leg out to the side and back. We'll do 10 times on each side. Two more, nine, 10. Good, step it out. 
and then come to the opposite side. All right, so same thing here, trying the balancing posture, bring your right hand to the chair, plant your right foot, keeping a bend in that knee, and then take your left foot up and back behind you, grabbing hold of the foot or ankle if you're able to, otherwise just taking it up off the floor, and then finding a place where you feel balanced. Maybe you take your hand up and take a few deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, release the right hand, release that leg, step it out a little bit, <clears throat> and then plant the right foot once again, and we'll flex the left foot and take that leg out to the side and back 10 times. Last time, and release that leg, step it out, good. And now just bring your hands to your hips, roll the hips in big circles in one direction, three or four times. And then take the hips the opposite direction. And then come on down to seated. We'll stretch our hips a little bit before the final meditation. <clears throat> I always like to um, do the hip stretching. It's really good specifically if you have any trouble with um, sciatica or anything like that. So stacking the knees over the ankles, flex the right foot and inhale, bring the right ankle bone up to the top of the left knee. If this hurts or just isn't comfortable for you, you can cross the right foot over the left. And inhale as you sit up nice and tall, keeping the arms in towards the body. And then exhale, leading with your chin, come folding over that right lower leg. Breathing deeply, making some micro movements from side to side if that feels good, if that helps the hip to release. Inhale, come to center. But keep the leg where it is for a moment. Bring your hands to your calf and your shin. Give your leg a squeeze. Roll the ankle around in circles. Both directions. And then squeeze your foot all the way down to your toes. Good. And release your right leg. <clears throat> Just pause for a moment, take a breath and feel the difference between the sides, between that right hip and the left. And then flex your left foot this time and inhale, bring your left ankle bone up to the top of the right knee or cross the left foot in front of the right. Sit up tall, arms in close to the body. And then exhale as you lead with your chin, come folding over that left lower leg, swaying gently from side to side if that feels good.
Inhale, come to stillness at center. And sit up nice and tall. Once again, take your hands to your lower left leg. Roll your ankle both directions. And squeeze your foot. <clears throat> and then release your left leg from the right and come sitting back in your chair. Your back is touching the back of the chair now. Your spine is straight. Roll the shoulders back, but relax them. Bring your hands to your lap. And tuck your chin, close your eyes. And allow your body to begin to settle now. Coming to a place of stillness, become as still as you can be, physically, mentally. Observe the shift in your energy. Allow the effects of this practice to permeate every cell of your body. Take a moment to revisit the intention that you set at the beginning of class. Take a moment to recall the person for whom you dedicated this practice. Bring your hands now to heart center. Rub the palms together vigorously. Bring 
bring the hands to stillness, pushing the thumbs right in at the breastbone, bowing your head towards your heart. Taking a few more long, deep breaths here. And as we go forward and to the rest of our week, May we love unconditionally, forgive easily, honor our values, trust the unknown, live with awareness, and rise in love every day in every way. Thank you for being here to practice with me today. I wish you a wonderful rest of your day and your week. Namaste.